<laughs> Hi guys! Today, as you've seen, we're gonna make my hair curly because it's a while now that I keep kept it straight. I just air dried it and it's frizzy and if I'm gonna blow dry it, I usually blow dry it straight because it's easier for me. But today I'm gonna use these babies because um, I have them in my drawer for a while now and I never use them just for my hair extensions so I never I don't think I ever done my hair with this but I really love um, the curls the soft curls that my hair extension gets so I really want to do this on my hair and see how it goes and I think they will be really comfortable to sleep on them because I'm gonna sleep on this I'm not gonna dry my hair if you want to do it feel free but yeah so I washed my hair a couple of hours ago <laughs> to be honest and it's kind of half away dried if I can say like this um, I just use, I just shampoo it normally, conditioner and I use some for keratin repair just to make my ends a little bit softer so yeah that's all I think and let's get started right so you can start sorry I have my mirror there so I will, I will kind of look there but you can start with the top, with the back, with whatever you want. So, depends on how wide you want this. It all depends on you. If you're gonna do a um, wider section, then it's, um, the curls will be bigger, more softer. A smaller one will be curlier, with any rulers that you use. Make sure that you really put your ends right in here. So if you want, you can help yourself with the tail comb. So what I do, let's see if I can demo this. I put it underneath and then just rule it. Rule. <laughs> Did I say rule? Rule it all over. <laughs> but like rule the, the tail comb on the ruler just to make sure that you have all all your ends in but don't pull the um, tail comb while you're doing this and then yeah just close and that's the first one my shoulder already feels like so sore can wet your ends to be easier. It's usually so much easier. So make sure you can even use you can even use your fingers to make sure that these ends, I don't know if you can see them hopefully, go in. But even like this, like you still have some ends coming out. So that's why I like to take the tail comb and just pull it all in just to make sure because if you leave this end out then they will just be frizzy and ugly and you don't want that. One more and then I'm gonna spray it up if not. 
definitely if you keep your um, ends wet, you can just wet it. Wet it. Another thing, you want to keep your like the strand of hair straight on the ruler. Don't do this. Like take it and all wrap it around because those curls are not gonna look nice. So you take your section. Straight that thing, straight it, straight it, and then we roll. See this one, I don't even need to um, use the hair comb because it just works perfectly. Finish this in 10 minutes. That's good. If I would have dried my hair with um, a hand dryer, I would probably would keep around 40 to 50, sometimes even an hour to dry it with the rulers on. But today I'm just gonna go downstairs, make dinner, and then sleep on them and then I will see you guys later <laughs> tomorrow and we'll take these babies off this is not good stay there if you have loads of layers on your hair this may happen but that's why I will leave it These are my curls. I'm gonna use some oil and just kind of brush my hair with my fingers. You can even um, take the small sections and kind of wrap it to have a more to have more definition on your curls, if that makes sense. Ooh, this is nice. I have to say that I really like them. Um, keep in mind that... Sorry guys, I have the mirror there. Uh, keep in mind that in at least on my hair, if you have straight hair, like in, in an hour or two, they will come more down. So they won't stay as curly. If you want them to stay like this, use um, some hairspray. But I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna put any hairspray for today. And it was kind of painful 
um, I do have kind of sensitive scalp so I usually don't like to sleep on rulers but yeah my ear is really hurting I don't know how I slept or I think I, I woke up like a thousand times during the night and just tried to place my head somewhere that it wasn't hurting uh, so if you have a sensitive scalp I won't really suggest to sleep on them you can use a um, hand dryer to dry them or you can have if you do use if you do if you like to use uh, rulers to curl your hair often you can find this helmet cask I don't know how you call how you want to call them um, that you can attach to any hand dryer and just place it on your hair and just use it so sometimes I do that and usually for my hair I will it will take like 50 to 60 minutes so like an hour to dry my hair um, obviously do check so just take your hands and place it on the ruler when um, if you do if you are using a hand dryer to to dry your hair because sometimes it's still like it's still a little bit wet uh, at your roots or underneath and if you take the ruler off then it's the curl won't stay sometimes it does show but then in like two hours you won't have nothing because it just drops um, if it's not completely dry so yeah I usually leave them uh, dry on its own because I really want my hair to be healthy and I'm trying not to use any hand dryer or straighteners on them like I I will still use them like I don't know twice or three times a month so basically like nothing because yeah I'm trying to grow my hair and even the journey until today has been really hard to keep it healthy and try to grow it so yeah I prefer to just leave my hair dry on its own I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want some more videos with me and I will see you guys later big kiss bye